I hope you're well. So I'm going to be doing a kind of a Boxing Day sale haul. Um, I picked up a few bits today, which is actually the 28th. So it's after Boxing Day, but I know most stores actually didn't open till the 27th. But anyway, I popped in on my own just for like literally an hour and a half. And I just I had to take a couple things back. So then I looked in the sales. I went round to M&S next. Um... And then I picked up an order from H&M. So I made the order before Christmas, I think. Yeah, definitely before, maybe Christmas Eve. But only for like two items. So yeah, it's kind of a bit of a mixture. It's mainly just me. And then I've got a couple of bits for Miles. So um, yeah, I'm going to start off with M&S. So I went in the store. And I actually spotted this kind of jacket coat. Um like weeks ago tried it on really liked it but it was just like ugh, i don't want to pay the full price obviously it wasn't heavily reduced but um i think it was about 15 pounds off so it was originally 69 pounds and i got it for reduced to 43 pounds but originally 69 pounds um yeah it looks like this it's kind of an oversized, kind of lightweight, I'd say more of a spring summer jacket, but you could definitely layer this up if it's a dry cold day. Um, I love the green. I don't have, like, I've wanted one of these kind of quilted, like, oversized coats for ages. But, um, yeah, it's just hard. They've got a very similar one in jewels, but it doesn't have the collar like this. It's kind of like a faux fur cream collar, but you can actually take it off which I thought was really really great and you can use this even as like an extra layer um or even put a nice thick scarf on if you didn't fancy having the faux fur especially through the spring or summer you didn't you know want the fur on there but I actually it's so oversized I actually got it in the size six this was the last one left when I went to Castle Point um yeah I will actually try and insert some clips of me wearing it. It's really kind of past the bum. And then I randomly saw this cardigan. Again, I saw this a few weeks ago. You know, just didn't, I, you know, it, I didn't really need it. Um, but I didn't, I wouldn't really want to pay £35 for it. But it was down to £11. So I thought that was, you know, 35 down to 11 Very good discount. Um, they did it in, I want to say they did it in a, no, a grey colour, but I got it in the black and camel. It's basically just a long cardigan, it's got a tie thing around it, it's kind of like a little bit of a balloon sleeve, pockets, I thought with like leather leggings or just leggings or just jeggings, whatever, um, just a really nice, really nice um, cardigan like a long cardigan again something I don't really have um I actually got it in the medium I think they only had medium and large there but it doesn't look very big or anything it looks like a really nice nice length so um yeah I got that I thought that was a bit of a bargain actually it's a really nice quality and then the last few items I got from Miles because obviously I went through the kids section to be perfectly honest like Violet is so over the M&S clothes which is a shame because they have some lovely stuff so anyway, I managed to find this little zip up kind of jacket. It's um it's kind of fleeced on the outer and kind of just I don't know, you know, kind of more waterproof inner, which is a bit backwards actually. But it's really, really cute. It's kind of got dinosaurs, really fluffy, a very Jules-esque, I would say. So this was originally £18 and it went down to £10. Again, I got it in the five to six which I know sounds massive as he's only three and a half, but he is very, very tall. This is good for like a jacket, I would say, you know, just put like a t-shirt or a long sleeve underneath, even layer it up with a jumper underneath. Um, but yeah, I could even just put this away for autumn, winter next year. I just had need to size him up and see what it looks like. But for 10 pounds, I thought that was really, really nice. I also got him this really cute lunch box. His lunchbox is just far too small for, for him. Now, when we go out, I always put my snacks in it, and it's just it's really manky. We've had it since weaning. Um, but this was originally £12 down to £3.50, which I thought was really good. Um, none of them had bottles or anything, so I don't know if that's why they were heavily reduced. Like, maybe there was originally a bottle in there. Uh, last two items. I've got some socks to put away. These are game over. Christmas fluffy socks. 
um, they've got like the grippers on and stuff. These were originally £6 down to £3.50 but I'm actually going to put them away for Christmas next year because they're kind of in the bigger size and he doesn't really need any socks right now. And then lastly uh, from m and oh, drop them, like these little black uh, trainers. Again, I need to try them on because I don't really know that they're light as air, recycled, upper, vegan. They're basically just like a really simple trainer, just black trainer. He's got some little boots at the moment and I just wanted to get him a pair of trainers that he could potentially just wear to nursery or, you know, on dry days. These were originally £21 down to £6.50. So yeah, I thought they were cute. So that's everything I got from m and I've got the window open, so if you hear it sounds really blowy and windy and rainy, it is. But um, yeah, I've just got the window open. So another thing I got Miles, which I'm gonna keep away for next year, so I don't have to. And actually, I did a next online order. I think I spent about 100 pounds, but I got some really good staples. So I got Miles some like Christmas PJs for next year. I got him some the next size up wellies, which he will obviously use, nursery and whatever. Um, I got a couple of other things, which I will have to just show you a bit later on. But obviously with next, I don't know when it's gonna arrive or whatever. <coughs> but I did walk in and I was like, I'm gonna have that. First onesies, never had one of these like onesie things before. This was nine pounds. It was originally 20 pounds and it's a Christmas onesie. As you can see, it's quite big. I got it in the five to six. To be fair, they didn't have any other sizes. They had like just bigger, but I thought, you know, he's very tall. He's extremely tall for his age. Um, and it's so cute. So that is going away for Christmas next year. And then I got Graham a couple of things. Um, I got him this really lovely jumper actually. It was originally £30 and it was down to £12.50. Looks like this. It's got like little patchwork sleeves. It's very Graham. Really nice actually. Really nice quality. Not too heavy, you know. He doesn't like getting too hot. I think that's quite nice with this shirt or a you know long sleeve underneath and then I also got him a shirt so um, I bought him a new shirt for Christmas which he actually wore last night he's worn quite a few times um, and then they had they had them all reduced you know it's so annoying because obviously neck shirts are around 35 to 40 I'd say in price so yeah I managed to get one that I did really like in his size this was originally 38 pounds and it was down to 16 pounds 50 and it's just more like warmer tones, which I really love on him. He looks really smart. So I got him that one. Obviously, he wears a lot of shirts. When we always go out, he always wears a shirt and a jumper or whatever. So it's going to be well used. And actually, it's, it's kind of a colour that, or kind of plaid check design that he really doesn't have, especially in this colour. Right, and the last cup, like three items that I got myself from Next... I got this top, which I have no idea what it looks like on. I just kind of saw it and I was like, oh, it looks quite nice. So originally it was £32. It's quite a lot really. Four, down to £14. It looks like this. And I like the fact that it was kind of a little bit frilly. I don't know why. I feel like you could kind of dress up, dress down. It may look terrible. It's in this sort of beige colour. But it's a really weird material, really kind of floaty material. But I'm excited to see what that will look like on. I got these trousers. I saw these trousers and I was like, I'm going to get those. I have no idea if they're going to suit me. But I've got my birthday coming up. It's New Year's. You know, I just think I'm going to wear something nice. And these are trousers though. So these are like really floaty wide leg <laughs> trousers. Originally they were... £32 and they were down to £11.50 which is again a bounty bargain but they look like this and they've got the hem like this so I think with a boot or a sandal like a dainty sandal I think we actually look really really cute and they are stretchy so yeah got those and then I was eyeing this top up no joke on next this was way before christmas as well originally 26 pounds <clears throat> found it in my size and i got it for 11 pounds it's basically like a velvet halter neck i'm sure 
the Rochelle Humes. I don't think it's the Rochelle Humes brand, but I'm sure she was wearing this or something very similar. But it's basically like a floaty velvet halter neck. So 90s, honestly. I used to wear this stuff when I was a kid. But I just thought it was really, really nice and actually quite comfortable. I can kind of get away with stuff like that because I don't really have like a big chest. Um, so yeah, got that as well. Okay, so I ordered, I remember now, I ordered this Nirvana t-shirt. This is one of the new things in. These were 12 .99. Um, I think it was like 20% off or 15% off for all members or something. And then I had a £3 coupon spend way too much obviously in H&M so you build up points to get coupons but anyway I got this one oversized tee it's just cash day to day sometimes I wear them to the gym and then I also got another coat this one might have to go back because I love that one so much so it seems a bit silly to have another green coat but this was actually now I remember this was down to 18 pounds and then I got like, you know, my discounts on top. So I think this is still actually in the sale now. Give you a little overview. It looks like this is actually quite different in some respects to colour. Like a deep olive green this is. It was the reviews were it was very, very oversized. So I went extra small. Um, which I think is gonna be absolutely fine. But it's got a hood, which I suppose is again different. I need to do a bit of a coat clear out, I think. But yeah, so that is what that looks like. And I'm going to try, like I said, I'm going to try and insert some clips while I'm talking so you can visually see these items on if they're any good. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to toy between whether keeping both coats. I'm toying just keeping that one because it is it's generally much more nicer. Um, I think I'll wear it more, but that one's got a hood, so it's really useful. But yeah, that is pretty much my sales haul. I have to be honest, I'm really not trying to be sucked into the sales itself. Like I get emails every day and I'm unsubscribing from emails. I've really tried to do that um, because I generally, generally I'm trying to save this year and I don't really need, you know, lots and lots of stuff. If anything, I need to declutter my wardrobe and go through the bits that I really haven't worn this year. Let me know if you're feeling the same. I know this is very contradicting of like me showing you a sales haul and then saying that I actually really don't need anything. But um, yeah, you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? I didn't really get anything particular for Christmas myself. So it was something in some respects, it's just something to give back to myself for doing such a good job over Christmas, I would say. My birthday's coming up as well. But um yeah happy new year everybody i really hope you have a good one this year um i'm really really looking for a really i feel like this year is just going to be really really good i've just got a really good feeling i've got some really good i don't want to say i've got some really good girls but i honestly have wrote down a good list of things i want to do this year and they're not extravagant they're just small changes i think are really gonna like bring a lot of extra happiness into my life so um, I will do a separate video on that because I think it might inspire other people to do some extra bits or whatever even though my life is busy as it is I think there's always room for improvement at any point in anyone's life but um, yeah so anyway I hope you enjoyed this haul and I will see you in my next video